book over something? Um, I'm just trying to decide how I want to do this. Um, the investigators. Uh, are any of them about guards? Investigators? What do you mean? Uh, fucking Marco and um, Nomad's dwarf character. They they're the guards. They normally investigate shit. There was a, there was a fucking murder, and Kyla's been told there was a witness, and so he's planning to arrest the person responsible. Understood. He will be generated shortly at the castle gate. Fantastic. I don't know, man. He, he's really pushing for it. He's forcing Kyla to, you know, not overlook it like he was trying to. He was trying to talk to the, the Merc and try and figure out what the fucking issue is. <clears throat> because they have ties with Sarah. But he's pushing it, so... Guardsman will be sent to you shortly. He is finishing something at the moment. Sure. I'll be around. Monkeys. Monkeys. Yeah. Monkey. Which the amount of times mm. I've had to use that Monkey. statement and it to be like very literal is a bit concerning. Yeah, it's a bit yike. A singular yike. You know I mean. Where else but notice? Oh, the issue with that, though, Crazy, is I that now I it's do... it's very clear that yeah. Harry fucking snitched on them I as a witness. Oh, no. But he's pushing for it. Is the chicken attacking her? No, the cat's attacking the chicken! And here we see the wild Grodian chicken engaged with its only known natural predator, the domesticated house cat. The struggle between two such creatures will be long and strenuous. Afternoon, Marin. <laughs> That's an afternoon, my lord. How are you? I'm, I'm doing quite well. Actually, I'm doing so very well. Thank you. Good. And how are you, my lord? I've been busy, but could be worse. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and what? <laughs> and, oh no, sorry. 
And so, what do you have planned for the day? What are you doing? What is this? The spiders are taking over. No, stop. Stop. Stop it. The way it was presented to Kyla from an eyewitness <clears throat> is a man was mugging um a man was attempting to mug Akka. He got scared away by Akka. The other person there while this man was leaving fucking stabbed him and killed them. Which And so Kyla's like, to Harry, hey, fucking, like, drop it, dude, like. And he's like, nope. I don't want to, I, I don't want this to be an issue. So he's gonna so, have to uh, at least take you, them in for questioning. For I'm, uh, waiting for someone to come back. I see, I see. And you? Where have you been all day? I had to go to the shrine of Isara in, in order to meet a brother in that, a brother, you know, that's been, <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said that, sorry. Wow. <laughs> I came, oh, yeah, there's our, you know, brother of Isara, brother of Isara. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I shouldn't have said that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he came here to see me, and I want to go see him. So, <clears throat> cool. And right now, I'm just. <gasps> Look, guys, I'm not gonna, like, fucking have a fucking exec- or have them executed and fucking thrown in chains or whatever, but they- we need to go through... Just- we need to go through it, we need to investigate it. Legally. <laughs> Whether or not it's the right thing to do. Weird about them was the fact that they were just poking their head around corners and just kind of... Scoping, I guess the word is. Well, suspicion's not a crime. But there's something just... to be looked at. Yeah. Uh... Lord, Figured. got something for you if you're interested. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Walk and talk. Oh. All right. So apparently, this um, pool of blood is <clears throat> tied to a suspected murder. Suspected. Uh, <sighs> eyewitness came forward to me. Alright. Ooh, 
Like we. <clears throat> mm. well, that looks interesting. Aren't they so cool? Now you finally get to show off your color, though. I know, right? All right. So eyewitness <laughs> said, apparently, they saw <laughs> Arka being. Uh, mugged by someone, a man, and another person was with them, a merc or someone, they couldn't tell, the face was covered. Um, they had a pointy hat that looked like a sailor's hat. And <clears throat> uh, apparently, Arka scared off this person that was mugging them, and as the mugger was leaving, the person with the hat stabbed them and killed them. Um... Uh, who's who's this eyewitness? Who saw this? It would be uh, Harry from the farm. <clears throat> Harry from the farm. Oh, my lord. Good morning. Good afternoon. After the uh, time. <laughs> the person with the hat. You said Harry? I believe so, yes. That's the one that came up to me and said he saw it. That's odd. Huh. Okay, uh, continue. Sorry. It's, it's... The uh, person with the hat left earlier this morning from town. They're apparently scheduled to be back soon if you wanted to talk to them and investigate them about what happened exactly. Someone with a hat. Uh, doesn't quite narrow it down. A specific hat. It's like a sailor's hat. It's specific pointy. Hat. It's like a triangle. I know the person they're talking about. You have to forgive me. Something doesn't quite add up here. If you said Harry, <clears throat> I thought I saw him on the way coming back. He wasn't near the crime scene, I don't think. Mm, he came to me and said he saw it happen. I figured I'd let you know, being the investigator and all. Right. Mm, how likely is it this individual who we saw is still here? The one with the hat? Yeah. Like I said, they left town this morning. They're scheduled to come back anytime now. <clears throat> Would you be able... What do you think? Would he be able to point them out, you think? I know the person he's talking about. I've seen them around. You... You know the person. I know what they look like. I know the hat. Not many people wear that hat. All right. I don't um, know what they look like underneath it, but I know the hat. Would you be able to point them out? Sure. If we got a row of people, you'd be able to... I mean, I you know. probably could, based on process of elimination, and Harry definitely could, because he saw them, apparently, so... All right, I don't want to want to. I want to condemn the wrong person here. No, that's fine. Uh, if you have a good feel, then it should be fine. <clears throat> All right. Um, I got in my report. What do you want me to do? Uh, was there them? anything else you could gleam? No. Told you everything I know. All right, well, I was hoping not to have any murders today, uh, but here we are. Uh, but yeah, you're, uh, you're good to go. Uh, you don't need to, uh, uh, any need of me. fucking arrest their ass, or do you want me to come and find you if I see them? Or... <laughs> I'll alert the guard. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be solid. Cool. I'll, Thank you, Lord. Absolutely. Just helping you do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. 
Take it easy. Take care. No yeah. yet. Hmm. I suppose I can go wait over there while I can at least see out the front. That one really dangerous road that like swallowed him up, it was like a pitfall, like it's like he fell through the earth. He's dead. Like, the do you thing. have He's very dead. physical evidence of what you told me? I do. I do. Excellent. Then there's nothing to worry about. Dwarf went up this way, didn't you? Sorry? The dwarf. Yeah, the dwarf went out that way. I don't think... If it's out there in the woods, I don't think it's got a high chance of survival, I hate to say. It might eat your boots. Be careful. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the person we talked about just uh -huh. showed up. Uh -huh. Wanna go talk to him? Sure. <clears throat> so, we'll still also, we we'll still reported to Miss Hollow that there's quiet. a party yeah, out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Who paints a pony red? Why? I I don't know. Apologies, oh, Tyler. Uh, DM clear. Mm. Were you looking for Lisa earlier? No. Oh, earlier, oh, earlier. Understood. Way earlier. Understood. You wouldn't happen to see Cade, would you? They just made their way into the Merc Guild. Everyone's looking for everyone right now. Hmm. Remember, we have an eyewitness on this, so I might get hostile. Oh. 
Yeah. Is that we weren't behind keeping you alive? Then that's on you. I don't need your money. Keep your idiocracy. You employ the finest, do you? <laughs> Not after this. Oh, well, yeah, I fucking I'm... quit. I'm only here to settle things with the Lord. And after this <laughs> shit show of everything, I'm not gonna work for fuckers like you anymore. I All fucking right. quit. All right. Mm. All right. Enough. You agreed on the contract you were participating. I did, but he doesn't seem to think I did. So you want to know something? Shut I don't your need this mouth. Shit. I'll get a different job. Shut <laughs> your mouth. Just did. I apologize for the men I picked. And usually the oh, new Lord. Lord. Lord Marshal. Forgive my intrusion. I think you know why I'm here. I sent one of my men ahead to explain. Yes. I'm trying to put all of it together as I speak. Then please do so. Right. Sarah. From the beginning, everything. Now. We arrived at the cross keys. Everything seemed to be fine. There was a building in the back, separated from the main inn. We met there. He spoke to him for a lengthy time. It was quite the boring right argument. Back. Might I be speaking freely? Nothing really seemed to be going on. They were discussing <laughs> this and that, and you betrayed me, and I betrayed you. There was a couple of really weird men around. Uh, the Hobbit and Nate here discovered that two of the men didn't actually work there, and the ones that were serving drinks were some kind of plant that were trying to poison both of these men. So Nate and I caught on that one of the men sitting in the room listening to the conversation was shady and he left at the opportune time. We followed him. He went into the main building to speak to another merchant named Yorwin. He is now dead. His body is right there. Not only do I have tangible evidence, Of them not only following these two merchants around, but basically taking note of every single move they've made. They were planning something very bad. And I heard the words, the poison didn't work. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. You're cart. welcome for that part. We uh -huh. killed all of his men. And uh -huh. then we captured him. Unfortunately, he uh -huh. tried to get away, so I had to get rid of him. But that's all the evidence you need. If he was still alive, he probably would have given a verbal... What's it called? Mm. Confession? Statement, I think, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Mm. He may I have see, hired the Haloth like mercenaries. <sighs> exactly that, Matthias. Right here. Mm. Contract for the northern men that were caught nearby. It's quite dumbing. I also have some of the wine left over. I was going to bring to Venora to check out. Do so. And bring that answer directly to the mercenary guild. Well, they... This one specifically here, they've written out the <sighs> schedule of where both of the merchants have been. Ew. When they left, when they arrived, what they were doing there. Someone's been stalking Dirt. the both of Thanks. them. And I guess this Yorwin, <clears throat> he was attempting something at this inn. A double this assassination, maybe? What you know. Whoa. From what I've been putting the piece together, from looking at it, yes, makes right. sense in their statements. This is <laughs> really trying to inflame this fight between these two noble houses. And... Yeah. By all rights, the court, by what's been put in front of us, your mercenaries have abided by... What did I miss? Turn around. Did you Turn around. Enough proof here stating that they interceded something that would have turned into more bloodshed. Dead guy on the ground is the merchant who apparently hired that. The assassin, the masked guy, and the mercs. Mm. What? I'm allowed to be angry. I see. Yes, but not now. Thank you. Well, I'm not mad at him. him. He's obviously helping us. Nate, just shut up. Am I- do I need to be here we'll anymore? Be like, am I being held? Shut up. No, shut up. You shut up. I've quit. Oh, Come on. I'm sorry, Lord Marshal, for the display of... Childness. 
Emotions are high. Life or death situations. I'll be leaving the corpse with you. Please have an official source make verify their uh, origin and who they are, and we'll get them interred. The rest of you, well done. As for the other noblemen here, they will be summoned to the small council upon the evening for further investigation. <laughs> Thank you both. Good. Thank Soldiers. you, Lord Marshal. <clears throat> Good day, Lord. I'm out. Sir, if you Give me money to the clerk. Excuse yourself. <clears throat> I'm fucking done. We'll have your men. Sir. What not handle later. Sir. With the hat. If you'd be so kind, I will have a bit sure sorted here. If you have any other statements you'd like to make, I'll be more than happy to take them from you. <clears throat> My statement is you should choose. When you do, uh, you I need to detain you. Carefully next time. For a bit of yeah, question. sure. Whatever. Fuck it. Fine. Fuck. I'll make what sure happened? it doesn't happen again. All right, let's, um, we should make our, our way out of children. I don't know, the fuck? I'll handle the passing of Any place is better than this place. the one acting like a child. Oh, okay, I was about to hand you a drink. My dude, before I get his story, before I get... <clears throat> uh, my lord, are we able to use your estate, or, uh... I prefer if you didn't, the there's a more official place to do it. I know. <clears throat> Fair enough. Do I get to be told what this is about? In good time. Please just follow the investigator. Right. I'm not about to make waves if somebody who hasn't caused me problems, so. <sighs> Busy day. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I gotta help somebody with their fucking merchant contract, and then they turn around and ask me what the fuck I did. Doesn't matter that I kept people alive. Nobles are all the fucking same, I swear. You look a bit frazzled. Must have been through quite a lot in the last hour. <clears throat> yeah. So we take this contract to keep some guy safe. We find out that it's way more than that. Somebody's poisoning somebody. Northern men are hired. I helped Sarah track these people down only to watch a horse get eaten by the earth. Like, it was like the weirdest thing. It's all right. They're with me. <clears throat> like. Then suddenly I'm accused of not doing my fucking part, even though I had another merchant or mercenary right beside me. It's like, Lord Ernie, whatever, it's like, I'm not even mad at him, I'm mad at the fucking everybody else, the noble that said I wasn't doing my part. It's like, why do I even bother? Pay isn't worth the disrespect. <laughs> you try sitting in a small know. council meeting. <laughs> I can only imagine. True. You must be the drow I keep hearing about. <laughs> yes, one of them. Sarah told me about you. Ah, good things? <laughs> yeah, just that you're like, a noble or something, and that you're a good person to know or whatever, I don't know. It was very brief before All we went right. on this mission. Welcome to the keep. I see that. This must be serious. Up here is our jail and processing, so let's get this underway. Alright. Alright, you may take a seat. Oh, thank fucking God, my fucking legs. Jeez. Yeah, I know. God. Alright, hold on. Ugh! Shit. Alright, let me make sure that all oh, this is... Alright. We need... All right. uh, let oh. me see. I need to grab something from uh, upstairs real quick. I'll be right back. No, you're good. You gonna tell me what this is about now? <clears throat> about the shit that we just went through? That dead merchant? Not quite. Alright then. close with Sarah? I mean, not, like, 
I wish we were. I wish you'd take me seriously when I told her stuff was wrong. There's a shit mm. that I had to talk to her about today, which is the only reason why I went on this stupid mission. Her and her stupid fish. Alright. What's your name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Got a family name. Clan. Evervain. Nathaniel Evervain. I'm Private Grimheart of the Guard. I'm one of them diversity hires from Vern Falder. <laughs> I can tell. I'm on an investigation here. There was a suspected murder earlier today in the afternoon about maybe an hour ago. A man in an alleyway with a hatchet? Yeah, it was me. Uh, you. Yep. <clears throat> Say I don't quite believe you here. Why? Well, weird enough story. If you care to actually believe me, it seems like most people don't know nowadays. I'm I was setting to, up to uh... go on the Merc mission. I was leaving town to go get some potions. There was a guy around the corner. He was like, help, my friend is trapped under a board. I said, I don't have time for this. I said, let me go grab my friends that are going to be in town, because I want to make sure they grab my potions before the mission. So I talked to Sarah and her fish. And I said, hey, there's a guy that says he's got problems. I can't help him. I got to get the potions. Can you go help him? I ran out of town. I grabbed my potions. Yada, yada, yada. Come back. And as soon as I turned the corner... I see this guy with, like, a hatchet raised. It's Akka, I think. Aki. And he's like, give me all your money. And then he paused. He's like, uh, I mean... And then Akka attacked him. Akka, like, in self-defense, totally ripped this guy apart. I, unfortunately, at the behest of thinking that my wonderful drow friend would appreciate it, didn't want Akka to get in trouble, because no offense to you guard people, but you are you do a lot of racial profiling when it comes to Akka. So... I assume that if the man went to the guards, completely clawed up from Fish Lady, you wouldn't believe her self-defense story. So I took care of the problem, because he was a menace to society anyways, and a, a total waste of space if he's gonna, you know, beat up on poor, disenfranchised fish people. And then I tried to tell Sarah about it, uh, but she wouldn't listen, so then I followed her on the mission, and now we're here. Okay. So, you took it upon yourself to end the man? Yeah, because if I didn't, he would have hurt Akka further. He was a right. civilian committing a crime against an innocent civilian, and I took care of it. Because it wouldn't have been pretty. Fair enough. Um... You know... It's uh, much like me to say racial profiling. Um, you know what that creature has done or is capable of? I'm very, un like, I understand exactly what every creature is capable of. From your race to my race to his race to Akka's race. But bad place in the wrong time in a situation I set up, unfortunately, without realizing it was a problem. Yeah, I felt like helping out. Gotcha. Loyalty is worth something, sir. Whether or not you guards decide it is. Do you like the guard? I'm not particularly fond of particular aspects of the guard, especially now that you've joined forces with the Imperials. I'd have to say that I find them exceedingly biased in some places. However, myself, I haven't had a bad run-in with the guard until now. Though, to be fair, I guess it is my fault, so I can't fault you for that. It this is the bad run-in? Yeah, I literally just got here. I was just trying to make a name for myself as a mercenary. My parents kicked me out. They said, you're 118, get a job. So now I'm here. I think I this is becoming pretty... a mercenary would help me meet mm -hmm. people, meet a girl. You know, like save a cute girl, get a wife, help people. And all I learned today is help people and you get fucked over. So, I mean, if you're going to throw me in prison or kill me, I guess whatever. Because I'm kind of done with it. You're moving at, like, a mile a minute. 
This is it, pretty. I, I have pain. seen some shit today. Okay, I literally yeah. came here to have fun, and, and and I've seen horses swallowed by the earth, and men killed, and nobles trying to kill nobles, and the nobles not being grateful for things, and then people trying to. I just, I can't, I, can't, I fucking can't right now. All right, um, Lord, is this um, is this adding up for you? Uh, so far, got any thoughts on this? Sounds about right. The only issue I would draw attention to it is is apparently the man was leaving when he attacked him. That's a fucking lie. The man was leaving, as in he was just trying to get on with his day? You mean after he raised a hatchet? to Akka and Akka defended herself. Yeah, I'm sure he probably turned out of pain when she defended herself. What was I supposed to do? Just I assume didn't... he was going to walk away? Let, let me let me think on this. You say there's an axe in play. Like some like hatchet thing, yeah. In that short amount of time, where's the body and where's the axe? Oh, Akka, like, threw it up onto a building or something. I'm sure if we went up on the roof, we could find it. I can go for a climb. I think she assumed that, like, you know, like, what did I see the other day? Like, ouch? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so I think she assumed she got rid of the ouch, you know what I mean? Akka's been in some rough situations before, and not all of them have been her own fault. I can understand why she would lash yeah, out. Yeah, I've like, seen gotcha. it from a distance, or I've heard from Sarah. All right. I'm going to mentally take this in, if y'all want to yeah. you know, talk. <clears throat> There's a lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Sorry about this. No. You cause you problems, it's Lord. It's fine. I want to be here about as much as you do, truthfully. But my hands got tied. Oh, God. I'm Thanks. sorry. What is with this city? Uh, like I came here? <laughs> Where are you from? Across the border. Uh. My parents, they were <laughs> like, hey, you're 118, and you're not doing anything with your life. I think they meant like get like an actual like impressive career or something, but I kind of took it as, you know, explore the world. Mm. No, that's fair. Um, yeah, this must be a shock to you. Grady is a lot like this, unfortunately. <clears throat> I mean, I've heard tales. Like, it's not like we haven't heard much from inside the border. And my parents say I grew up a little, uh, what's the word, spoiled. Uh-huh. But, you know, I'm trying to fix that, you know? I thought it'd be kind of fun to come here and, you know, be like a hero or something, but... Shit's not black and white, I'm starting to learn. Unfortunately, yes. I'm sure you mean yeah. well. I'm... Sorry about this. Like... No, don't... It... Just uh, doing I get anything. it, I get it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sure you mean yeah. well, and I would... I mean, Aka gets a lot of flack, then she doesn't deserve it, but we have to go through I mean, the process. I'm gonna be honest, I don't... <clears throat> I don't really like Aka. She's, she's creepy and she's aggressive, but I do like Sarah. And she's been a really good friend to me, for the most part, until she yells at me to shut up. And I know she cares about Aka, as much as she's like, I don't care about Aka. The next time she's in trouble, I'm not helping. It's like, yeah, but like, really though? How does she sound? But, but, but really? I don't like Aga. I mean, that's not really her, but you know what I mean? You know? Yeah. So. <sighs> this sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to do this after your big adventure today. It sounded like quite a lot. It doesn't matter. I quit. There's, like, no point in working for the Mercenaries Guild when you can be hired by anybody who's a dick with coin, you know? Hmm. It's just not worth it. Being questioned about your integrity and how you try to help, and I just, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Is this your first job as a merc here? No, like, I've been on a couple. Like, when I got here, they told me I was going to be, like, bronze level. And then he was like, oh, you're going to help little grandmas across the street. I was like, okay, sure, you know. And then the first mission they put me on, we, like, did some, like, nighttime shit trying to find a guy that was like, I don't know, he was a bad guy, apparently. And then, I think the other day, I went on a mission on a boat, we were supposed to, like, help deliver something, and then, like, the delivery wasn't there, and then we, like, found the delivery, I don't, I don't know. It's 
It's weird because like I keep thinking we're trying to help the good guy, and every time we go on these missions, it's like I don't I don't know if I <clears throat> feel like the good guy. You know. You understand a lot of the time mercenaries kill for money. It's kind of hard to, you know. Yeah, no, I get it. It's just like, it's not like I can be like a knight or anything like super important. So it's like a mercenary is like the next best thing. Like you can try and make a difference, right? So. Right. It's like halfway there. Right. I suppose there's more to being right. a knight than fighting and working for money. Well, it's not about fighting and working for money. I guess it's just doing something that Mean makes something. me feel like I'm helping out. And yeah, and like making my parents proud, you know? Because it's like. <laughs> I don't want to. Ah! Oh my god. What is this one doing here? Currently being questioned about a potential murder case this morning. Private Grimheart is upstairs collecting data. Mm. Very well. Mm. Do not let me get in your way, young lord. It's good to see you again. And you. I... Holy shit, remind me not to fuck with you. That guy could eat me alive. There you go. What's him? He's not the Castilian. He's not the. Is he the custode? Is he the custode? These fucking words, man. Uh, can I ask you a favor? Depends. I'm not in the place. I got all my uh, information here. I wrote everything down. Trying Come to make here, heads or um, if you could help me out here, so. I know Sarah thing. really likes Akka, so like Aka, if we're gonna try and like uh, spin it back on her, could we just like not do that? Arena, I've you know. made it very clear that Akka was acting in self-defense. Akka should be off the hook, so to speak. The issue is what happened after that and what you did. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, I mean. The track horn. I could help Landed. you find the hatchet or whatever, but Defended it's pretty black and white, I guess. Slew the man. There was one guy that I saw that saw it. You could probably ask him too. He he's like got like a white shirt and gray hair. Up a building, I did try to threaten him to be quiet. And then thinking they see. in trouble with the guard. <laughs> what did you tell yeah, him? I don't have a lot of time to finish that conversation. The body. Well, I, well, I guess it wasn't really threatening. I offered then, him a favor and coin. That was about it. Oh. And like, but I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. I was like, I'll give you a favor or some money. <laughs> Didn't seem like the type. Chest, pretty big. Mm. It through a pile of we'll see what the custode says. She says towards the fort. Yeah. But she didn't go to the I get it. She went to the the docks, to the sea. And Mr. Markle Morgel said that it was empty, and he helped her. It was just seawater inside the chest. Mm. I don't I do think the know. chest is involved, but it's just kind of weird how it ended up I there. I do know. That I assume you're not the type I can bribe for this, are you? Barrels of seawater in their home. Besides, you would have to bribe me and all of those up there too, and they definitely don't take bribes. Yeah, but like, are you like a lord or something? Yes. But what concerns me is they did not report this. Oh, so you're, you're a lord, but you're not like a throw your weight around lord. Yeah, Can't do that yet. They contaminated I don't want the to. Scene What's the point of that? On their own accord. They did not no, no, I get it. What's like, the, the, like, the saying? Anyone that has to say I am king is no king or whatever the fuck. Did you ever read that book? Murder or self -defense? Uh, it's not clear I, uh, what happened there. I read when I can. Um, Do we have the identity of the no, you don't. You don't have to pretend with me. I get. I get what it is. It's like uh, the whole. Um, bio. I think. Never mind. It's the fine. whole. The word. If we can find out who they are, perhaps a motive. No, it's, don't. It'd be awkward if I say it out loud. Don't make me say it out loud, please. Now I kind of want to. Right, so then I'm like part the of the problem. Of, uh, the man from you course, can't really throw your weight around because of. Brogan 
seen on. And I get it, because the moment you start making demands and shit, then it's fucking... Dude, I've dealt with it my whole life. Talking about my size or my race? One of the laborers. Yeah, it's probably the latter. The walls and yeah. Deal with it your whole life. Get used to it. Sarah talks about it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. No, I feel it. <clears throat> I get it. I've spent plenty of time working with others like them. Non-humans, I mean. <sighs> so wait, you know Sarah? Uh, I would have to say so. Most of the population yeah. is. That's why I didn't really want to have to do this. Yeah, that was what I was trying to warn her about before I got roped into this mission. <clears throat> I was like, hey, just your fish sure attacked somebody. I tried to help, and she didn't believe me. That's what I'm getting and I was like, okay, well, I'll go to the guard. She's like, good, swimming. fuck you. I don't, uh... Did she call my bluff? Because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna tell on her. Hmm. Just kind of wanted her to listen to me. Do you have any Almost did. To believe that either this I was kind of angry, this but you know. Murdered this man in cold blood. <clears throat> um. Kind of mad at her right now. She's really mean to me today. After I only tried to help. Like I don't want to be mad at her, but I'm kind of mad at her. Yeah, like I mean. If it was anybody else's fish, I would have left it alone. But I don't know if that's because of their own bias or what they've personally seen. Uh, as for uh, help her, you know, I, you I know, I kept her alive there. once, like on a mission. She they literally was always bleeding out because of orcs, and I gave her one of my potions. Dragged her away. Just have fun. And she's just always so mean to me. Like I don't get it. I don't know what kind of fun there is in. Uh, they don't strike me as a murder, but uh, killing for fun. I don't know. Sell swords or seekers of that kind of thrill, perhaps. Maybe. I am not I'm sure of what to make of what you have put before me. If we have no proof of any sort of wrongdoing in terms of murder, like what happens? To be like if this ends up bad, like can I like give my sword away to somebody? Or like do I get to like bequeath my like <laughs> items to someone? That's what I'm saying. Probably. I doubt you'll be executed, but I mean, the problem is that this is in a kind of yeah, gray like, area. It's not like you like walked up to thing. a dude and mm -hmm. then, There's you know. Motive to attack Arca. Um, There's no like honor in that. People will die by my blade if they deserve most it. Most of the citizenry. Oh no, huh? Act pretty harshly to her, uh, as of late. Innocent people don't deserve to die. Even those of the common folk. I've uh, we've mm. seen her a couple times, uh, but I don't know why you would raise the innate thing of just in the alleyway raising axes. Uh. Much more honorable work than being a merc out there. This is what I would say for now. Yeah, <coughs> you say that, you know, you're a lord or whatever, it's hard when you don't have a name and you, <coughs> like a new place. I've been there. I mean, you know, work, like, I've got a couple, you know, have decent friends, like, I mean, Sarah's kind of mean to me, but I don't think she's, like, all that bad. And... Cade lets me live with him because I don't have a place, so he's kind of nice. And... <laughs> Captain Mittens is, you know, he's he's. A... I think he should get laid, but he's not that bad. Captain Mittens. Captain, well, he was the guy that I worked for at the Merchants Guild, but I kind of quit today. So... I don't see anything too wrong with it. it seems fair. Very well. Then I leave the end of this discussion in your hands, and you have what I think should happen. Oh. Well, thank you, sir. Well, uh, <coughs> go process them and uh, have them go on their way. <coughs> Just, uh, don't let them take my hat, okay? It's getting real tough lately. I'm, I'm trying. That is how we identified you. <coughs> What's with it? It never gets any easier. But My dad gave it to me. Oh. Oh, thank you, sir. That's, that's a mighty fine word to you. I see. I'll, uh, I'll see you after all this. <clears throat> yeah. You can take my sword and everything else. Don't take my hat, please. <clears throat> all right. 
Here's what we got. Since we don't have the, uh, well, other party here alive and well, gonna have to take uh, your word on it since there's no substantial evidence. But there's a, there's a hitch here. Because you did a kind of frontier justice, if you will, taking matters into your own hands. Yeah. Knowing that you were still trying to do good, the best thing you could do is try to disarm the man and call for the guards so it doesn't delve into acts of killing. So, um... at the moment, you are to be fined uh, for you and the owner uh, of uh, Aka uh, for silver. <clears throat> I can cover both. You can. That's quite a bit. Yeah, of it wasn't her fault. I I set it all up. Well, not like I said, but like I asked for their help, like I said, and then I'll, I'll cover both. All right, just you know, try to get us uh, getting there going. And we're around. Just got a call for us. Yeah, my bad. Uh, again. No disrespect, uh, what did you call yourself? Diversity hire? Just guard. My name's Baca. Private Grimheart. Yeah, whatever. You want your silver or what? <laughs> oh, it's part of the job. There. Just leave Sarah right. out of it. <clears throat> I can walk him out. Private. Uh, well, <laughs> thank you. I'll have to make contact with her, uh, wherever <clears throat> she is, but, yeah. Fuck, sorry. It's alright, I can walk you on out of here. No, I'm Maybe good. Trouble. Just, I promise not to stab anybody else. <laughs> you know? That, uh, that warms my heart. Yeah, yeah. And the glass. Mm hmm. Got a date tonight, so I'm pretty happy you didn't arrest me. Uh, cool. Yeah, would have put, put a damper on that. So, sorry if I'm yeah, just, not too enthused. Just we just met. Yeah. Well, I just listen. Okay, it's been hard. I just got here. First, I was like, "Oh, Sarah's pretty cute." Whoa, not even a million years that girl did me alive. Uh, met a cute girl at the like, like in a good way, ago. or oh. I wish it was a good way, like, I like I would definitely let her destroy me, like, row, 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 but, like, also, like, I think my heart would be broken six times I don't know what that so. means. Uh, sure. It's, it's like a kink thing. No, don't even worry about it. Um. Uh. Well, thanks for that great adventure of friendship. I feel like we really where bonded. Are you, uh, where are you from, Nathaniel? Across the border. I just the loss. Across the border. All right, duly noted. You kids get cool. on out of here, huh? Later. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <sighs> yeah, you said it. Doesn't seem like a lot of fun being a lord. <laughs> there are benefits, but uh, heavy as the head, I guess. Can't be much fun when you wear the crown and the color skin you have. No, <clears throat> no jabs intended. That's quite all right. You um, didn't really do anything, but you know, thanks. Well, between you and me, I'd have liked to have done less. Catch my meaning. <laughs> Yeah, well, 
Justice is funny. Everybody gets a swing at it, even the wrong people. I I probably shouldn't have raised my blade, but... It's... Ah, it's fine. I think, uh, for now, I'm probably just gonna... Go ahead, low. Keep my distance. Yeah. You, uh, go to your friends. I did my part. <laughs> Have a good night, Lord. There you are. Unless it is. I'll be there tonight. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I think uh, he's going to be handing that to the marshal. Mine's over. Down oh, in okay. Buttonhole, there's a different species of wildlife. The uh, 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 yeah. Hi, Akko. It's a weird name for a spray of water across the back. It's my favorite person in the world. Coyote? Your new friend? Hmm? Go in the hat. <clears throat> I wouldn't really call him a friend. Okay. Just be careful. Trying. They seem to be accidentally getting in my way very often recently. They were involved in an incident where someone was murdered. And we just had to have a big conversation with them in the private about it. <coughs> it was ruled to be in self-defense. So she's off the hook for now. So I heard. Yeah. I was on a mission when it happened. <sighs> yeah, that was something too. I came in on you explaining that. <coughs> First day back. After quitting. Okay, a glob of yellowish green goo comes up when you cough nasty fish phlegm. <laughs> oh god, Akka! Never gets old, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. to sell me, well, a rather, it was a rather dilapidated copy, almost falling apart, but this is, this is one of his books, and oh, being it. honest, this is mostly... Okay, maybe getting her drunk on the first day was not the best idea, I should have sent her for water. I'm learning. Yeah. I have to know people's limits, and I don't know how much she's able to drink. She's a little drunk. It was just one glass of honey mead. You're meant to be looking after it. her. Okay, so I was. It was a lesson. <sighs> and now she's got water. I don't know her limits when it comes to alcohol. <sighs> Lord Earhart? They got Lisa fucking wasted. Hello? It was one cup of honey mead. One cup. One cup of honey mead. That's it. You, do? you don't need to stop associating yourself with these this grove thing. weirdos. Uh, hey! They've actually been quite, uh, <laughs> nice to be around of late. I resent that. Resent or Lord represent? Or not, I resent that. Resent! Resent! You sure? Yes. Yeah, let's try something. This delicate feather is your well-crafted and calculated opinion. Mm -hmm. This rock is mine. Oh, look. Anyway. The math doesn't lie, Elle. Yeah. Math doesn't lie, Elle.
Our nobles are pricks. I think you should sit down for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna help me now, bud? Oh! Oh! What didn't happen? Wake up! Elle, why don't you just pass out for a second? Are you alright? You alright? Oh, Get your cat! He's a free spirit, leave him alone. Scared the shit out of me. Uh, how, Wilfred, have you gotten bigger? Yeah, yeah you fucking have. Is that cat? What have you been eating? Hold on. Where are all the rats? Oh. I used to see a bunch. Can you eat them all? Are you eating those herbs? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. me! <laughs> Holy shit. I think oh. the That's your cat. <clears throat> yeah. That's that's the gods, Countess. It's fucking <clears throat> huge. There he goes. <laughs> Are you holding up? Okay. She's very clearly <clears throat> looking for somebody. So what? Faye wandered off. She's fine. She has. I just um, came over to say hello. Right now. This is my son. Hello. So sit down. I saw you ride out earlier and bring just uh, Sarah right. back. <laughs> she half of that fat cat okay. from Mirror Shop. She's speaking with Tiberius. Apparently, it'll just be but a moment. Oh, the fat rat. Look at me. Oh. Did he get fatter? Puss. I knew I heard that thing in the walls. Oh, look, his back ass is levitating off the ground. That is puss. You know what? You gotta get that out of here. That's nice, Wilfred. Uh, yeah, go hide it, buddy. It's your treasure. <clears throat> Good evening, Nerd Hearts. Uh, Good evening. Do you have a moment to speak, or are you conducting business? My son has all the time in the world. She's with Mr. Great Baby Hands. Yeah, all right. she's with Baby Hands. He's Young Earthheart, if you would. Really I'll be over at my stall real fast. Just have a seat. The woodcutters have been having a bit of a severe issue. It is serious. <clears throat> I'll handle it. Just stay calm. I didn't see Come that. find me when you're done. See what? Nothing. Hey there. <clears throat> How can I help? Look. There ain't no way to sugarcoat it. I appreciate all the work that you've done for me so far with the Imperial Garrison to help secure the woodcutter's camp and the route to here and there. I've been making deposits as much as I could for the last couple of weeks. Story short, we've been being bled out by the nobility. I'm talking three to four per unit of log that we've been giving out for the walls, for the trebuchets. I can't feed my, my boys. I can't feed my cutters. <clears throat> You're not being paid. I had to upcharge today, essentially. I had to upcharge today from eight copper a piece to 10 copper a piece for my most common buyers. And if I keep doing that, I'm going to bleed this town dry. And more importantly, my cutters also can't work. Because they're getting money that I make here. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to either have to seek work elsewhere in the province, or <clears throat> I, I, need, I need your help again. Okay, I... I'll speak to some of the nobles and see if they can't lay off you. A little bit. Layoff is in the cuts or the pay? Uh, actually pay you a fair price would be ideally. All right, great. Um, if you could tell them minimum, minimum eight copper per log. That okay. feeds every mouth enough. But right now, I'm bleeding out for my boys, Understand. essentially. I am um, not very popular among the other nobles, but I'll stress the importance of the woodcutters to them. In the meantime, here is uh, ten silver for you and your boys. Just a bit of a buffer. Oh. It's only fair. You serious? Absolutely. I trust you'll share it evenly. But just a bit of a buffer while I figure oh, this I'll out. I'll divvy it out. All right. That's about 50 copper for a person. That's enough meals for... Gods, at least a week of work. Fantastic. That alone. Great. I'll do what I can on my end of things. 
keep up doing what you're doing. I appreciate the business. I appreciate your work. You're always a savior for us. Of course. As yeah. you sh as you shake his hand, Kyler, and you look around, a triton to your right catches your eye. All right, well, as soon as that Tang fellow's done with his negotiations, I'll offload and call it a night. All right. Thank you for all that you've done. Have a good evening. Wildlife here is getting awfully antsy. You see the giant cat? You see no. the cock? I saw the cock. Shit's been chasing everything everywhere, and I wonder if something's happening in the woods. I would know, but I don't go that far out. Good, I'd avoid it. Orcs and shit. <laughs> look in his eye. He had a look in his eye, that Triton on the plate. One you know all too well. What did you do? Oh, fuck's sake. <clears throat> His face is not familiar in town. And he's right in the middle of a major throughway. But just unassuming enough that the guards don't seem to care. Unmarked boxes and bags. With lint in his eye. As he stares every passersby down. Like a predator watching prey. <laughs> you know a dealer when you see one. He's gonna memorize his face. As you do this, rolling. That one. your eye. He's looking right at you. Just to catch your gaze and notice. And he waves to you. Is it just me, or are we making, uh, making a lot of eye contact back there? <laughs> what was that? Nothing. You need something. Uh, nothing, just a... Uh... It's a wandering trader coming to town. Uh, medicinal things, stuff like that. Such as? Uh, oh, you know, things you take the edge off, uh, that sort of thing. You ever heard of river glitter? River glitter? No, that's new to me. Mm, what about devil's eye? No, I've not really dabbled in these sort of things. Mm. Rolling. Hey, both. Tyler with an 18. When you think on it, you've heard of both of these things before, though not a usual context for you. Faye has mentioned River Glitter a number of times. It is an alchemical mushroom that she often harvests near uh, the river. And not the beaches here, but you recall she often harvested it near the lake back near Adwick. It's common enough in wetter environments. Nothing illegal about it, but it does have hallucinogenic properties. Devil's Eye is one that you're less familiar with. Similarly, it, you, you believe it is a naturally occurring plant. You don't know much about what it actually does. Hmm. So, alchemy supplies, really. Exactly. Uh, I do a bit of alchemy myself as well. You know, there's this, uh, this is good blend with Devil's Eye. 
it uh, you mix it with some spice call it hellfire one hell of a trip <laughs> mm. <clears throat> not really uh my thing it is uh unbecoming of a of a noble to take part in such things a noble oh my lord a noble can get stressed no mm -hmm. <clears throat> not really my uh forte though unfortunately oh, unfortunate friend unfortunate you know i do keep a sample on me if you're interested maybe another day mm -hmm. another day eh? planning on sticking around in town for a while what's your name friend Ah, that I am. A few days going here and from the from uh, Cross Keys. Hmm. What's your name, friend? Call me Oliver. Oliver. Let's say I knew someone who didn't really enjoy the uh, the busyness of the town, and they wanted a bit of uh, calmness, a bit of. Yeah, I, I get you, I get you. Looking for something a little specific. Uh, something to relax you. Taste of uh, serenity yeah? or something along those lines. <sighs> Taste of <laughs> serenity. <laughs> Private. You doing alright? Yeah, not too bad. Keep it on the up and up. Yeah, and you? Well, speaking up and up, I gotta grab a ladder and see if there's an axe. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Uh, listen. Even if I were to have that, you think that'd be something done in town? I would hope not. Not in my town. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Good. Serenity is in my forte. Good. Then... Hallucinogens, relaxants, that sort of thing, you know? Mm. <clears throat> good. Then I will bid you a good night for now, Mr. Oliver. I will see you around. Mm, you as well. If you know anybody who uh, might be in need, send them my way. Back to deals. Going on the street. <laughs> mm. Miss Elena? Just Elena, please. We've been over this. Elena, how are you? Counting my hours until your father forces me into the worst situation I could ever think possible. Still grumpy about that, huh? Do you want to wear a dress? <laughs> no. Exactly. Fair point. Where are you off to? Well, I was going to visit Syrian, but I don't think we have had a lesson in a while, and I'm curious how your writing is held up. <clears throat> if you want to test me. Excuse me. Would I do, actually. Wear... Let's go. Hey, uh, Miss Mary. One moment. Oh. Yeah, no, uh, after you. can't say mm -hmm. I'm familiar with names, friend. Mm. Hmm. After me? After you, you. Lord. Of course. Of course. <clears throat> yeah, you as well. <clears throat> you know, we make fun of me, but I wonder how you're going to hold up in this whole situation, I wonder. Well, if it goes to plan, you won't be seeing much of me at all. That's a shame. I'm going to enjoy your company, especially <clears throat> in awkward situations. You mean, you're going to use me to, uh get in between you and awkward situations. Yep. You read that entirely right. Oh. Well, your father just walked right through us. Sometimes it's like, like he doesn't even see me. Know we were there. I know. 
upsetting. I, how, do, how, do you, how, do, how do you emotionally deal with that? Uh, what I like to do, and this is a cool trick, is I grab all my bad emotions and I like squish them up really, and then I just, and then deal with them later. Mm-hmm. I don't think he noticed as no, soon as I say hi to your dad. <laughs> dad? Oh, there he is. I'll take that water spin, please. Thank you. We walk past each other in the doorway. Hello. No. Didn't even say hi. Yeah. The pain. You right? Sage is catching up to him. Sorry, somewhere in the world, Aka's rubbing their snot on service. They need a roll. <laughs> Oh. Close the roll. A noble's life. Three. Pulled her right down and snotted the fuck out of her. Make sure you note it when you see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you said to uh, find you when I was done with that. Uh, we're going to need to talk to the nobles about how they're gouging the prices of our woodworkers, because they're not being paid enough to eat. I've given them a bit of a buffer, but we're going to have to try and convince them to lay off them. How much are they paying? Or lack thereof? Uh, well, the woodcutter said they would like to be paid at least eight, so less than that. I think they were paid a couple copper per unit, from what I heard. Right? The base unit for wood is about seven copper if you want <clears throat> no profit. He's running out of funds for his men. Apparently they're starting to go hungry and stuff, so I gave them a bit of a buffer so they can eat for this next week or so while we handle it, but... Well, Hmm. <clears throat> Bring it up. Yep. But how are you? I've been hearing from a lot of people you've been handling a lot of issues. <sighs> and well, am I, Dad? Trying to. So, one more bite? It's a never ending struggle, my boy, but you're doing well. And it's the people who are noting you. Don't Thank you. At least it's not all for nothing. And credit where it's due. Stand up straight when your father gives you a compliment. Help me! Uh. Sarah! Why are you covered in snot? <laughs> Whoa. Ah. That's why. <laughs> Used to having fun. <laughs> being chased by snot. <laughs> it's not very good. Oh my <laughs> god. Stay. <laughs> No, 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 you do not. No, no, bad. Don't give me that look. I just, you know, I try really hard sometimes and I just get so upset with things and I. I will throw you in God the ground. Stop. <clears throat> Stupid child. Idiot child. Do you know how quick I, I was? I had to flick to that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. It sucks as happened to you. Orlando wants to happen to her. One second, someone's in my head. <clears throat> <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm judging. There's a mission I've heard about you. Very, uh, very simple and straightforward, but important nonetheless. Mm. I put you on duty <clears throat> to assist with the retraining of the cavalry units over the next 12 hours, starting tonight. You'll be sent out to the outer perimeter, surrounded by men who obey our house's command. Do you understand? Okay. What do you want me to teach them? That's irrelevant. The point is to keep you as far away from the ball as possible. <clears throat> you don't want me up there? If it's what Orlan and I are concerned, it might be no, we don't want you up there. Not because you can't handle yourself, but because if we fuck this up, we can't all get wiped out in one spot. Well, it's more about nothing personal. What I was supposed to do up there, the things I need to get. They could be 
very handy. We'll have another chance with the Fallout Festival and everybody's attention being there. Okay. You don't want me to, um, be at the cavalry and then somehow... Oh no! You know? I want you surrounded by men who will refuse to hand you off. All right, if that's what you want. Train to those men, and you let those men. There's loyalty there. Yeah, they tried to fucking take him away this morning. I don't think the men would have had it, truthfully. I don't think so either. But Lady Armour and I will go up to this so-called ball, find out what they're really up to. To go sour, I'll get back to you as soon as we can. Right. And your dress, by the way. I can't wait to show you. It's beautiful. We're getting way too much money out of this. Oh. There's a certain Pushing. underlying, like, sarcasm. What color I can are the see frills? It right now. I fuck you, Kyla. That's what color they are. Stop indulging what him. What color is fuck you? So I love it's purple, gold, gold, and black to match your mood. <clears throat> Dower. I actually hope something happens so I can die. In this situation. Oh my god. Do not. I'm. I'm telling you now. Do not wear boots. As opposed to barefoot, like I'm. Um... Like, what else am I supposed to wear? I don't think so. You know damn well what else you're supposed to wear, Orlando. I don't you? have any other pair of shoes, Lord. Oh, you do? Tiberius, I no, today. I... can Orlando borrow your high heels? Can I help you? Ah. Tiberius, do hmm. not join in on this. The um, amount that we've... With feather. <laughs> I swear to God. Is it, is it just pick on Orlando Day? Is that what's happening? I thought we were... I thought we were friends. <laughs> Do you want me? Who's just picking on you? It's going to look nice. I... I'm gonna choke myself with the silk. You're gonna come to get me and I'm gonna be <laughs> hanging from it. <laughs> It'll still look nice in the dress. Actually, Where hold on, I have a better <laughs> question. I have a better question. Why do you know the size of my feet? Because your boots are the same as mine. Did you take my... Well, hey, hold on a minute. <laughs> That, I don't... That's, that's rude. Do you want me watching for a signal or to something right. to rush in and help it, or...? No. The whole purpose is to remove you from Nardis entirely. I know, but I just feel... not that big. You know... Something goes wrong and I can't... We think first something goes wrong, we find out there is. All right. Well, you know where I'll be at least, so we do a training exercise throughout the night. <clears throat> All I had to do was put the soles against each other and see the they difference. They are smaller. The measurements. They are. Look, they are smaller. Look. No, I meant. I'm not talking about the size of the feet, Lady Omri. Is that what you were so jostled about? Yes. <laughs> you know they say about big feet all that, huh? Big fist to hit you in the face. <laughs> it's a joke, my lord. I would never hurt your child. You have several times. What the fuck do you mean by that? I put you in a river once to make sure you could swim. Don't be a bitch about it. I can it. swim. I know how to swim. You were trying to do something else altogether. Toughen you up. Can we help you, sir? I would hope you could. Lord, it hurts. There are words to be spoken, but to man, considering recent events, do you know who I am? I do not, sir. Please forgive me. Who are you? I introduced myself to your son. I introduced myself to your knight. They did not mention me. I've only just come down from the castle. I am Sergeant Carr Aldine. 
Sergeant of the Ferryman. Mm. <clears throat> welcome, Sergeant. I, I don't really feel too welcome in this town, considering recent events. Orvo doesn't talk to him anymore. What exactly happened? I... In terms of what? I... Oh. Bring Jonathan, I bring Sir Roderick. Good to you. Specifically, because they believe in you. They told me stories of you. And now, I'm hearing word that my men, men who I looked out for, and that I bled the side, are being whisked away to join your house. Which I'm sorry, tell. did you have mercenaries in your employ or hostages? They're free to come and go as they wish. They do. You're right. It is contract work. And I would have been fine with that. But how come you go to Corvo, you go to men, but you still leave half of us out of the picture? I didn't even get a chance to speak with you before this happened. Was there complications? I thought we would It's not a mercenary contract. The men that have left your company are those that wish to leave this country for some other reason than gold. I'm surprised. I would think you would be happy to be rid of foreigners you could not trust. Hmm. It's not about trust. If anything, those men saved my life a, do a dozen times over. I did trust them. And now, they're up and gone. And I'm not sure how to feel about that. I'm being quite honest. Taking our men away from us, we're going to reduce the weight of the ferryman's name. Not quite. You're in a province that's starved for mercenaries. Regardless of your numbers, if you came in and offered yourselves to the Redard dynasty, they would jump on a contract at once. They have no other mercenary companies. They would likely pay you more than you would usually ask. Do you want to make that 15 silver back? Oh, what am I doing? Gentlemen, I'm not going to apologize for taking my countrymen to come back with me home, as is their wish. I did not compel them or control them. They share my vision, and we wish to go home, same as I'm sure any of you would wish to if you had the ability to, and it was taken from you. There is still work to be had here. There is still coin to be had here. And there's still young men looking for adventure that would probably join your company. And I have your word you're not going to take any of them if we were to replenish our numbers? It ends here, just like that. Take half my men. And that's it, it all ends here. The 42 soldiers that have joined me here have the sole intent of coming back to a mutual home that we all lost to the Imperium. I have no interest in dissolving your company. In fact, I am telling you that there is no other mercenary contracts taking place currently with the Redod dynasty, and they are desperate for soldiers. If you bring forth a contract to the dynasty, they will likely agree. The orc threat is but a mere mile away. The only other competition that you have is a massive company that refuses to accept all offers. Take their place, sir. Osric trusted you. Jonathan trusted you. They're good men. I will put my trust in them and believe your offer is genuine. No cheating. That's the main thing. I will take my men and do what I can. But be warned. Any other slights, any other tactics, anything going behind my back. And you will see how brutal a ferryman can be when angered. I'm sure so. Well, I have no interest in making an enemy of the ferryman. I do have an interest of going back home. And that is all. I take it you'll put in a good word for us with your... Redards. 
I'll meet with them myself. It seems you merely know me as the man who has taken your men from me. <coughs> I'm the Lord Marshal of this province. And those contracts are up to me. Very well. We'll meet our men. Show this province why our name is so well done. I will bring you before the Baron of Mem tomorrow morning. That is acceptable. But I want one more thing from you. Hmm. Your word. It may be business, but I fought for those men. You keep them alive by as much as you can. I know war, I know blood. But I do not want the lives of my friends thrown away so carelessly. They were friends at some point. You will forgive me, sir, but I know some of those men from back when they were children. My bonds with them go a lot farther and deeper than you do. But we have a shared interest in their survival and safety. I promise to you that I will do my best to keep these men alive. War is war. But we do not leave men behind and we do not make needless sacrifice. Very well. And I guess our business is concluded. May the ferryman we'll join you, you sir, well. Well. Uh, Very well, then. Um, a good night to you, on. Sergeant. Mr. X, guide you, Lord Marshal. Do as well. Better than I thought it was going to. Well, that's just the Sergeant. We'll see what the others think. He might come back feeling differently. What Let's go get a seat over at the tavern. I don't feel like standing in the middle of the road. Honestly, you could take black for all I care. <laughs> How are you, Miss Bizzle? I wanted to actually talk to you. I'm doing good. Yes, I'll be heading that way myself. But I heard something about dresses and pretty shoes and possibly shiny things, and I wanted to know what was going on. There is a ball for the nobles happening tonight, apparently. Ah! Oh, I The one thing I have always wanted to go to. <laughs> I'll never get to go to one of those. I dealt with these types of situations before, and normally witnesses are called... Oh, oh well. Thank you for letting you me know. Yeah, now I can be even more jealous of all the fun you get to have. I won't be there, don't worry. <laughs> you won't be there? Why? I'll be doing some retraining outside of the city. Mmm, I see. What? Nothing. You. You've been holding your ground a lot lately. I suppose I should probably give you praise. Uh, Not going to. I'll be back soon. Should. Didn't miss me too much. Who are you? Now <laughs> <laughs> stop speaking to strangers on the street. Sir, so if you are going to keep harassing the Lord, we will have you removed. Thank you, Lady Omri. What? You're welcome. That's on you not. Why do you call me that? Yeah. Set me thinking, wondering about the phrase worth dying for. Someone worth dying for. Yes. What do you guys like? How? You seem to be a lot of people, especially. Uh, wait, no, I should go get drinks. Who's it? Somebody, somebody there, the boy walk. That you would die for. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Like walk. Some wine, my son. Five, be so good. Yes. 
It's almost as if I'm already on it for you. I think it's probably better. <clears throat> Hi, Basil. So you really don't want him going. Or... I thought it was Hi, are they on it? Thanks, Basil. One's over. Sand. Put it on Arn's tab. <laughs> <laughs> take the bottle and the cup, and I'll take the other two. Okay. Sand. Thank you. Um, <laughs> is there a <laughs> stew on or something? Oh, yeah. hmm? I don't know exactly. Hmm? Do I have a stew on? Is that what you ask? Yeah, or whatever's, you know, food. I do. need something to attach the sword to, so can we talk about the boots? When or how close it would take me back Maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. Three stews? That's Maybe what you're looking for? Somebody. Let's say you lose me. I'm okay with stew. <sighs> so I've heard. Why'd you say not -uh? Yes, please. Or chicken or something else. I don't mind. I don't mind making anything. I'm still waiting to hear back. Fuck. Fuck. Debbie, you're the best at. Tell you what. Be right back in here. Check okay. my gloves. <laughs> I don't get myself killed in his service. If you ever end up having to make that trip. <clears throat> um, yeah, chat, I will not be at the mission, just so you're aware. I don't think we're going to do a journal entry today. Why? Because I've got other shit on, and I was told with th three days in advance. think of what else I could possibly ask for that would be even so equal to the, the amount of being put in a dress, sword. but I suppose I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, assuming I don't hog up all the iron, I need to get an <clears throat> door made. Tell me about this dress. <coughs> oh my gosh. I'll throw you off a cliff. Is it long sleeved? Stop it. It is. Very interesting. It has do, sleeves that are separate from the rest of the dress itself. Thank you, Basil. <clears throat> You're welcome. Oh, I've yeah, always loved those bit. dresses. They would look so Basil, beautiful please. on you. Basil, please, you were in my sorry. good books. Please don't find your way out of them by contributing to this <laughs> terrible conversation. I'm sorry, conversation. I just... Overhearing pretty dresses and... Good. I'll tell you what, like that. It's kind of like my chest is not well her. as well endowed, but I'll give it to you afterwards and you can have it taken out. <laughs> oh, apparently Nate didn't accept his payment. It's going to be, have to, to be taken quite a bit more. I'm uh, far heavier I'm set sure if I should so. be insulted or not, but no, well. do what you wish. No, I'm, I'm saying I'm shorter and larger than you. It, it is a difference. You have a better body is what I'm saying. Is a woman with tits like that allowed to say that? Nine silver. Are you saying that all that matters on a woman is her tits? I'm ashamed of you. Not bad. Okay. Right. Spends enough time time in the company of men. Three days from today. Most only speak about certain things. I might have to throw my uh, rags back on. Are you around most right now? Yeah, well, Tori's psyched to go. So good I'm sorry, my lord. I understand that the company I keep Possibly here now. chooses to indulge in the finer so things, like... Swimming and climbing, so this girl's ass the other day was, like, fucking... Uh, swimming and climbing. Uh, Ow! I mean, a decent climber. Uh, <laughs> swimmer. Uh, I could Which one? Swim more often. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, then that means it's fair for everybody, because everybody's... Good. God's above. 
I, uh... That's good. Is it gonna be good food? Also, no tripping anybody up, no right. fighting, or else I kick you out. I'm the one with the coin anyway. <laughs> you might as well enjoy yourself oh, now. I'm not eating anything in the bowl, are you kidding no. me? <laughs> Keep my... Keep my poison tester. In that case. Good, I brought none to do. <coughs> your own as well. And or tang. This is gonna be weird if you don't actually <laughs> end up <laughs> eating anything, you know that, right? I'm gonna yeah. figure out that you're under them. That's motivation. Have, that like, mm, have you never pretended to eat before? Right us, be no. I used to do that all the time when I got <laughs> food <laughs> gifts. We <laughs> oh live two very different lives, Razor. The ship turn broadside. Here's what you do. You I'm not going to comment. Hello? With the whole time. <laughs> Who are you? Here's what you do. You wait till the middle of summer, right? Take one Hello, of stranger. the stranger. Uh, do you need some coin? Give me coin? everything you have. Give me that like, coin really purse right dry, now. Like, like after oh, I'm not going to give you my coin purse, but you look like you're starving. <laughs> there you are. Oh, thank, thank you. I am. Then you take a torch. You drop it. Do I get my shield back yet? <clears throat> and then the race starts. Oh, it's inside already polished, nice and clean. Good. Oh, you don't need to go ahead and give him your plates. Why? 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 Why do I get the fish head? <laughs> why? I thought we. Had, I thought this was fine. Why? why? I guess I'll give that to you. Mm -hmm. It's what? a delicacy in some places, Tiberius. Look, we're gonna have boats out there anyway. Just yeah, apparently the Imperials like to eat their eyeballs or something.